the Golden Host is preparing to bring the first act of their invasion on Mirkwood to a close with an all-out assault upon the hill overlooking the landing. Then let's get started. Back up here. Now is the time for us to strike. The Uru commander atop this fortress. Within is our target. Should he fall, so falls the fortress to our claim. Claim? I think claim's a bit of a strong word for this fortress. I don't think we're trying to claim it as our own fortress or anything like that. But we'll take that for now. If you're prepared in body and mind and in food, then I shall begin the assault. Forward, Malathrim! Let's the attack begin. There you go. Uh, quite a force here. There you go. Maybe attracting everybody's attention is not the best way to go. I'm a warden. What do you expect? I'm trying to keep these guys alive, despite the fact that my history of this particular instance tends to be that I shouldn't be too worried about the elves. I think I've rarely I don't know if I've ever actually lost this one due to a elf dying or anything like that. Now I've had plenty of occasions where I've gotten beaten up to a pulp and you wind up Going back to the beginning, coming out there, and you find out that while you're away, the elves finish the instance. Though I have a feeling that if you just sat back during the entire thing, something would drastically go wrong. And these elves do like to split, unfortunately, which is a bit of a problem. Hmm. And of course, we do have these guys here who are a real pain. They're like trolling me, yes. What does he have there? Is that armor? Or is that a... Sh looks like he has these shields that are strapped on his side or something like that. Which, if you're a... Troll, I guess you're big enough that you could put a couple of shields along your side to protect vital spots or something like that. Or, of course, just be a piece of clothing or. Huh. Not sure what that troll was wearing. I guess, well, maybe we'll have ample opportunity to find out at some point. Probably will turn out that. A troll wound taker has been wearing that all this time, and I just never bothered to wonder. There you go. Uh, uh, no healies. There you go. So we'll take care of you. See what I mean? They, they like to split up is... They went up there. Oh! Can we get... No, we can't get him to do that. Oh, well. I just want to make sure that this guy doesn't go running up ahead of everybody else. Because they some like to go right, some like right, right to go like to go left, and I think I might have had one or two cases where somebody did run off ahead while everybody else was. See, there you go. Those two ran off ahead because they didn't see this one, because they didn't go far enough away ahead. So I got to make sure that they don't get into trouble as a result of that. Hmm. Oh, I, for a moment there I was wondering, how are we going to get inside? It's because this troll's going to sally forth. Now, let's see. I get the trouble is, of course, the troll's not going to stand up straight, so I could have a look at that. Well, I guess I'll have to worry about that mystery at some other time. 
Which probably means I'll completely forget about it after this episode. Right, right, of course. This troll is tough! Yay! Yeah. I was about to ask if maybe it's a weapon of some sort, but if it were a weapon of some sort, I think the troll would be pulling it out rather than going to fight weaponless. If the trolls just thought it didn't need any weapons, then fine, but then why carry a weapon if that were the case? There you go. I think we should have no trouble here. It's, it's the Uruk where the trouble usually happens. It's getting here, is it? No trouble. Going around there, no trouble. We come to the Uruk. Ouch. Completed headcount. All right, that's 100 mobs dead so far. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. There you go, one troll. Well, one Uru. Yeah, Elite Master. Okay. He often has a way of real doing nasty things, too. Oh! Is that a corruption or is that a. Oh, there you go. As for I should do it, emphasize get rid of that corruption there. Because I think I usually forget that he has a corruption. And don't notice it. Okay. There you go. With the corruption down, things should be a little bit easier. I say that when I go do an AoE that manages to get everybody coming on me. That's my usual problem. But... Warden, at least. Yeah, get... Warden here, at least, is able to recover from situations like that. Give me a few enemies, and I'll leech them to death. <laughs> That's the Warden way. There you go. Oops. And we get up here. Ah, uh, keep track of those things. Yeah, okay, actually, this, I think, is going to be doable. I think this is one of my cleaner runs of this particular instance. I say that as my morale is like going down. There you go. Oh! Well, that's a problem. No wonder it started going down for no reason. Because those skirmishers came in. Ah! And now your turn. And once they're done, they get some power back. Oh. <laughs> of course I can get some power back because the fight's over. Yay! Yeah, victorious for once. Meaning I'm really victorious and not having the elves do all the work. So, number of times the NPCs get us to do their work, why not occasionally give it to them? Your valiant strength has brought us this day, Pineleaf. With the fall of the Kerr, the orcs are broken and no strength of theirs can stay or advance until we stand athwart the gates of Dol Guldor itself. Whee! The fort is now ours, and the orcs have been sent reeling back to cower at the heels of their master in Dol Guldor. Now we must make haste to claim the roads that lie between the Murkies and the Necromancer's dark abode. I plan to make my base amongst the ancient ruins of Imilum, Pineleaf. May fate bring us together there again, for the days ahead shall be consumed with turmoil and pain as we reach our final go. Whee! Let's go. I think that went well enough. For good or ill, 
we now have no choice but to embark upon this journey. I am glad to see that you survived the opening stage of the assault, Pineleaf. It is thanks to no small part your efforts that our advance into Ogodor has been only lightly impeded by the servants of the enemy. Our forces now advance through the forest of Mirkwood to claim Eminum, well to the east. But there is much to be done before we reach it. Gird yourself well, for the blackest of terrors yet stands before us. Oh, fun. Fun, fun, fun. So, what is the first thing we need to do, then? The Golden Host is ready now to begin the passage into Mirkwood. It was not easy, Pineleaf, but we have made the crossing and expelled the orcs from their fort atop Aman Agened. The Golden Host is now ready to begin the passage into Mirkwood. I hope we are not wrong in this. A great deal is at stake. You're right about that. We have made the landing, but now the second party must cross. Now you must return to Imlan Laleth and tell Braglin that we have seized our first footfall into the ri across the river. It is time for the second party to cross, for it is they who hold the stealthy undertaking of bringing Mazog to Doguldor and trade for the dwarf prisoners. The launch officer, Kalangoth, near the boats, will ferry you back to Lothlorien. I will see to the rest of the preparations necessary for Echad Serion to serve as the camp for our first excursion into Mirkwood. All right, fight. Go back and speak with Bryglin back in Lothlorien. The first crossing appears to be a success. The first crossing was a success, then. Good. Good. That means it is time for the second, smaller company to cross the Anduin. I will bring you to meet them. After all, you were assisting those elves with the transport of Mazog to Dogodor, and the way will be fraught with danger. Let me know when you're ready, and I'll introduce you to them. All right, let's meet them. The Golden Host of Lothlorien has crossed the river Anduin. But now, a second smaller party must follow in its wake. These are the elves of the Hidden Guard, chosen to bring the prisoner Marzog to the gates of Dol Guldur. All right, let's meet them. Lord Celeborn and Lady Galadriel have determined that the elves of Lothlorien must stand allied with the dwarves of Moria, as long ago they once did. They have selected a number of elves to oversee the passage of Mazog through Mirkwood to Dol Guldur, where the orcs will be exchanged for the prisoners held by the enemy at the fortress. I will bring you to these elves, the Hidden Guard, as they make their preparations. All right. This way, Pineleaf, I'll introduce you to the Hidden Guard. I hope they're not hidden from me. Yeah. As a, they're so well hidden, I can't even see them. Oh, oh, they're up ahead. All right, fine. The Hidden Guard is composed of five elves, chosen for their skills in various areas. You too would be a member of the Hidden Guard. I know you will help. Your help will be invaluable. All right. And here we go. We have here... Sigalith. I am Sigaleth, Pineleaf, and I already know of your deeds. You are welcome to accompany us on this errand, though I have my doubts as to its wisdom. It is a sorrow that the dwarves have lost their own to the cages of the enemy, but that is the way of war. Returning Mazak to his allies seems indefensible to me. If Lord Caliborn and Lady Galadriel see value of it, though, it is not the place of Sigilet to question. Yeah, I am just wondering. Trying to distance yourself from the comment when you give it in the Lord third person in that way, I should say. She says, I have nothing to do with this. Well, okay, she's doing the guarding art, but she has nothing to do with the decision in order to do this. And... Radier. 
It is a pleasure to meet you, Pineleaf. I know that you will be a great asset to us upon the Saren. If we are to bring the orc leader to Dol Guldur with the hope that any can exchange his freedom for that of the dwarf prisoners, we must do it so in secret. Our numbers are not so great that we we can resist a determined effort to take him from us before reaching the fortress. All right. Very well. We must do it, and we must do so in secret. All right. We have one who's reluctant to do it, one who's determined that we do it in secret. And now we have here a, a cardor. Yep. My brother, Fangris, was slain by orcs that came down from the mountains following the company that sought refuge in the Golden Wood recently. And I desire to end Mazog's life myself. It pains me to know that we must turn him over to his allies. And I have argued long against it already. I petitioned Lord Celeborn to let me accompany the group transporting the prisoner. But he denied my request. Only once the Lady Galadriel spoke to him did he change his mind. I do not know what she said, but I am grateful to her for it. Now I will keep a close eye upon Mazog for the duration of the journey, and if he gives me the slightest reason, I will take my vengeance upon him. All right, so he is a guard here whose job apparently is to keep Mazog in line. All right, so we have the one who thinks we need to be in secret, one who wants to... Kill if you have a slightest chance, and I'm not too sure if Siglet is too far behind him on that. The elves of the Hidden Guard were chosen for their varied expertise in the number of areas. Siglet for his skill in melee combat, and Rodair for his expert tracking ability. Were it my decision, I might have let Ahardor join the main force of the Maladrim rather than the Hidden Guard, given the recent tragedy of his brother's death. But... I am sure Lady Galadriel has her own reasons for speaking on his behalf and believes that he will be an important part of the Hidden Guard. I will bring you to the rest of the company, Pineleaf. Very well, and there are five, so that means there are only two left, if I know how to count. Isidur is offering the strategic oversight of the Golden Host, but did decide not to do it. I don't know why exactly, but I believe she thought that she might be a better suited for someone else. Might be better suited for leadership. Yeah, all right. Fine. So, you gave up... Wait a moment. Don't I know you from somewhere? Yeah, I believe I do. Make a fun and pine leaf. It is good to see you again, and I welcome you to the ranks of the Golden Host. The Knives of Sigileth, the Bow of Kucheron and the knowledge of Radir, and the strong will of Hardor will see this mission through, and the friendship between Moria and Lothlorien will be stronger for it. Let the enemy quake when he learns of the approach of the Golden Host, and he will think nothing of the Hidden Guard until we are at the gates of Dol Guldor and demand the prisoners kept there in exchange for the life of Mazog, and they'll completely forget that they have an entire fortress full of orcs and trolls and uruks and goblins that could crush us to dust! It, uh, yeah, yeah, never mind that. <laughs> and what do you say, Kucharon? Welcome, Pineleaf. We are the Hidden Guard, formed by the Order of Lord and Lady, and it is our mission to bring Mazog to the gates of Dol Guldur, there to trade him, his life for those of the prisoner held in the fortress. Secrecy is our watchword, and surprise our ally. Yes, fear and... Oh, uh, sorry. Yes, Isuriel has told me already of your great deeds. I know you will be a vital member of the Hidden Guard on this journey. Oh, yes, and knowing how this game goes, you'll be quite vital. The whole thing will fail without us, probably. Right? Isn't that how it always goes? Oh, look at this. Friends have arrived. Hey, hello there. 
It will be my pleasure to guide the hidden guard across the river on this, the first step of our journey. May it end in victory. The entire journey or just this stage of it? We survived the trip across the river. We have made the crossing, Pine Leaf. The door should be just ahead with their captive. Let us greet them and discuss the plans of our journey. I suppose we could do that. This way, Pine Leaf. The dwarves must be just ahead. I hope Broin and his dwarves understand the importance of this errand's secrecy. The dwarves of the Iron Garrison are not known for their subtlety. Baruch Kazad! Oh yes, the dwarves and their captives are just ahead. I fear they have been waiting for a while. Hail, dwarves of the Iron Garrison! I am Radir of Lothlorien. You already know my ally, Pineleaf, a warden of great worth and bravery. We do. I am Broin, son of Broger, and these are the brothers Greyhammer. We go to Dol Guldur to trade the Orc Mazak for the freedom of my cousin Bori. Am I to understand you know the paths of this unpleasant forest? I know the ways of Mirkwood, for I've trod them long ago to the very foundations of Dol Guldur. The elves of my company, the Hidden Guard, will bring Mazog to these pads. I hope the pads haven't changed over the years. You will not make it a league! The orcs of Mirkwood will descend upon you and free me! Latu Gothurush Bagul! Yeah, like you're gonna tell him to be quiet. He's frightened, though it be not of us. Thank you, so serial. It is the strength of the dwarves that frightens him. Surely it is. <laughs> no, Broin. Mazag is frightened of being brought to Dol Guldur. But why? Are his allies not there? What could he fear in that place? That makes me all the more eager to bring him there, if that's the case. Let him quake upon the road. Come here, Pine Leaf. Uh, yeah? At last, we are underway, Pine Leaf. If you have faith in these elves, this <clears throat> hidden guard, then I will as well. Uh, may our journeys through the Mirkwood be swift, and our return trip the swifter, when Bori and the other captives... Hail and hearty. Yes, let's go. A great journey awaits us. Will we survive it? Well, that'll be answered in the coming episodes of The Complete Pine Leaf.